Hey everybody, Sam from Crash Course Hemi here. Just thought I'd make this quick video in response to a question I was asked about the martial applicability of things like the positions you see in Tai Chi and how people use uh, kendo techniques. Firstly, we'll look at Tai Chi. Now, often you'll see, or any sort of related art, I'm just going to use that as a very broad umbrella term, right? You'll often see positions that kind of look like this. On first glance, it doesn't look very martially applicable. And I'm just going to switch to this side, okay? Until you start breaking it down, okay? Because this is essentially this, okay, that you might see in something like fencing. It has more or less all the same hallmarks. What do I mean? Firstly, my hands are up, okay? Which means that the underside of my arm is open to attack. How do I protect that? Boom, come into an inside half hanging kind of guard like this. This is of course, essentially just a sword arm protect, all right? Which you tend to find a lot of in regimental broadsword, okay? So it's no different there. Because of that, that means my low line is exposed. Which means that, again, I just do what they do, tend to do in regimental broadsword, right? I slip back, okay? But in this case, I slip with my front leg forward, okay? So I can subsequently kick them, because, you know, this is Eastern martial arts and it looks cool. I can kick them, I can do whatever, alright? I can also maintain balance, which I should. And I'm, of course, halfway through a step, so I can simply pass backwards, alright, and come on guard here. This position, oh, your legs are crossed, it doesn't look very stable, but it's no different to doing something like in incantata, or whatever you want to call it, maybe a passata sotto, where you just cross your legs like that, okay? Subsequently, this hand is thrown back exactly like in sport fencing, where it's providing balance, opposition, okay, to all this stuff here, and mechanically, it causes your back to go down, packed, so the shoulder blades are nice and close together, like you're squeezing a pea that's at the bottom of your shoulder blades, okay? And of course it causes your chest to rise up at about the nipple line, okay? So very quickly we can see that once you start breaking these things down, they do have a martially applicable elements to them, it's just that depending on the context, the time, the situation, and the purpose, this changes, okay? Something like Tai Chi has a very particular purpose, but it can be sort of, for lack of a better word, broken down until you get to these very particular martially applicable points. Secondly, what about Kendo, or more specifically Kendo popping as some people like to call it? What is that? Well essentially you stand there, okay, in Jodan? I think, alright, and then of course you raise your arms up, and men, Boom! Straight down on top. It's the exact, oh well, it, it corresponds somewhat to a sort of fletch in sport fencing, okay? A short flicking motion that scores a point, okay? Of course there are different rules, and you know, it's not electrically scored, and there's all this stuff about spirit, but that's the idea, okay? So, the two ways that this is generally done, okay, are whoom, bang! Okay, at which point they sort of break their wrists, but this position looks very similar to some manuals that Western European martial arts study as well. But we'll just keep it pretty simple at the moment. Okay, so up and man! And then subsequently man! And they run back in, okay? So you go up, boom, okay, and then you run past. How is that martially applicable at all, okay? Well, let's break it down and let's have a quick look at it. Number one, all right, I can displace the blade. So I displace my opponent's blade with a back edge cut, all right, and then boom, straight into the neck. Boom, push cut, okay? And then, because I'm safer if I go forward, depending on what school of thought you go with, rather than stepping back, which gives them room subsequently to get something up and going, Okay, I simply run forward, meh, and I slice from this side all the way down to this side. If I don't displace them with this strike, I'll probably displace them, boom, with this strike, in which case the same thing applies. Push cut, run past. So, as you can very quickly see, even though it might just look a bit silly, 
for some people anyway, being all like, MAN! and running past, that was terrible form, the deeper, I guess if you want to again break it down, you can really start to see how a lot of this stuff, it doesn't matter whether it's Tai Chi guard, okay, or a particular school of thought regarding hitting, it does still maintain some of its martial applicability. So this is just a very quick video on, uh, on that. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll have some more videos up shortly. I'll see you guys then.